Hello. Hello. I like your beard. Well, thanks, man. Never mind. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't get it. Get what? Horror movies. Look at these people. I mean, why do they watch this garbage? As if there's not enough blood and death in the real world. This isn't actually like other horror movies. How so? What's in the basement hasn't been publicly screened in 20 years. Tonight's actually a pretty big deal. Really? Yeah, apparently at the premiere back in the 90s, one of the actors went apeshit, started killing people in the audience, told everyone the movie made him do it. They never caught the guy either. That's what I'm talking about. Who in their right minds makes movies like this? I guess people just like to fuck with people. Shit's cray cray, right? Right. Can I get a uh, whiskey cranberry, please? That's weird. Okay. You're that actor guy. You're that guy that works at the movie theater. Hey, where's uh, Sam been? Oh, did no one tell you? He quit like a week ago. Apparently he had some sort of a breakdown, threatened to kill some customers for sticking gum to the seats or some shit. No one's heard from him since. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. He said, okay, well, you know, that's just like your opinion, man. And I'm like, dude, do you even know who I am? Do you not get channel 43.2? If I want to jump the barrier and play with those penguins, I'm going to fucking do it. I don't care if that asshole was fucking Jungle Jack Hanna. Hey, here's our stars, Alec and Joan. Uh, you probably know them from some of your father's earlier works. Samurai Supper Car Kawasaki Part 2. We were actually in Part 3. But chronologically, Part 3 is in between the first one and the second one, so it's understandable. To... Call me Joan. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you're charmed. I'm sorry about your daddy. He was a good man. Talented. Fucking talented. How's it going? I think it's going well. What's up, man? Richard. <sighs> Holly? A word of warning, Richard? about our friend, Artie Bloom. Okay. If he happens to come to the studio one of these nights, I think there's something you need to know, Richard. Huh. Artie has this weird gift, if you will, for first impressions. I don't know how he does it. Hell, I don't even think he knows how he does it. Hmm. But it's something he's always had, something he was born with, like a mutant, Richard. A, a mutant. mutant? Oh, that's cool. That's no! Fuck, that's not good? No, Richard. That is not good at all. Not for the rest of us. Listen to me, Richard. Why do you keep saying my name? You must promise me, if you meet him, no matter what he says or what he happens to be doing, you will not get sucked into his web of bullshit. That is some really potent imagery, honey. Please, Richard. You really are a... A favored client of ours. Okay, sure. Mm, yeah. You must promise me, Richard. Uh, Jesus, all right, all right. I will avoid <coughs> the giant spider web of shit. Fuck. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I gotta go now. <laughs> oh! Shit, is that a spider? So, what's your deal? What are you doing here? I'm well, just checking out what my life could have been like, you know. Thank you. Is your life better than mine? So what do you think about all this? Well, there's two of them now, so whatever that means. <laughs>
<laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about how this uh, interdimensional travel works? Like how, like how specifically do you do that? You want me to tell you specifically a little bit how interdimensional travel works? A little exposition for your documentary? consists of seeing what my life could have consisted of, so kinda sucks. Regret as a motherfucker. But it's worth it though. I'm seeing that we're capable of great things. Now that I've broken the ice, I seem to have lost my phone number. Can I have a map? The things go bump in the night? <laughs> They're the sins of the past. This dialogue gets shittier and shittier every time I see this piece of shit. A clue says Barry. Jesus. If you want answers, the real question is just how deep are you willing to go? That's what she said! Excuse me, sir, some of us are actually trying to watch the movie. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I wouldn't want your monocle to fall out into your champagne. Oh. I never. All right, you bourgeois prick. Cool. So, uh... What else have you been up to? Just this? What were you doing over there in the, uh, the editing room? I thought we were writers, man. Oh, I was editing Kate's demo reel. Um, you wanna check it out? Or? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. It was me. The whole time. You see, when you saw Charlie push Francis off the top of that skyscraper, what you actually saw was me. In a clever disguise. The real Charlie was tied up in the trunk of my car. Until you drove it off a cliff, you ignorant fuck! I was the only survivor. Everyone else, they died. I was the only one who lived. No one else survived. I am so, so sad. Boy, what's all this then? I'll see you in hell, you dick. Does not compute. Please resubmit query. I am a robot. You talking to me? Rich J. Richard Kramer, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, do I know you? Nope, just a fan of the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay, so you, you've actually heard some of my recordings, huh? Yeah. Gotta support Columbus artists, man. Such I think you and me are the only people in the city who even know what a fucking podcast is, <laughs> besides cereal or some shit. But you didn't listen. Something's outside, it is now inside, and once it's inside, it can't be stopped. It's coming. I'm a woman of science, Teddy, not superstition. Medicine, not magic. And I am a man of constant sorrow. I've seen trouble all my days.